this video has been in the process for a year. I put it up for a year, but it's time to bring it for you guys. I am going to be talking about Throne of Glass for the first time in an individual video, so I hope you guys are ready. Because I am! So welcome everybody to a new video. Today we are talking about Throne of Glass and just essentially the Throne of Glass series as it is part of the Tower of Dawn book club which the amazing Bloomsbury and the Big Shot are running. I'm actually working with them for this video so thank you so much for working with me and sponsoring this video. So Bloomsbury is running a read along where you get to read the entire series leading up to the Tower of Dawn which I know I'm really excited about because I am buzzing for Tower of Dawn. <laughs> I'm actually going to be reviewing the first book in this series. This is going to be a non-spoiler review, so I'm going to give you a brief rundown of what this series is about, starting off with book one. And in this review, I will only be reviewing book one as if I've only ever read book one. So we're not even going to talk about the rest of the series. I want to also let you know that the amazing Bloomsbury are letting me host a giveaway. So if you want to know how to enter to win these books in the entirety of the series, then definitely stay to the end where you can find out how to win these. Stay to the end, stay to the end. Tower of Dawn is out September 5th, so let's start our count down by talking about book one. Now story time, the first time I read this book was last year in summer when I went on holiday to Greece and a lot of you guys who've been following me for a while will already know that because I was kind of gushing over Dorian and Kale all summer long. We're not even going to talk about a character who comes in later down the line because I've already told you we're focusing on book one. So Drona Glass is about a character called Selena who is a the most notorious assassin in the entirety of this fantasy world. Now just to compare this fantasy world it is very much like the Game of Thrones. It's kind of very humanoid fantastic fantasy world but you know magic is around where in this case magic has been outlawed and the oh let's not even talk about the magic just yet so we have selena who for years has worked under the king of assassins and she is captured and sent to a death camp and she's sent to a working camp where she basically will be there until she dies now one day the prince turns up the prince of the land turns up dorian and dorian basically says to selena that for her freedom she has to come and take part in these games in the capital where she will be winning to become the king's assassin and to do that and to win that means she'll have to be the assassin for a certain number of years and then she will have her freedom which she has always desired. So when she goes to the citadel and starts taking part in these tasks that are set by the king and going against other assassins which other people have kind of sponsored and Dorian the prince is sponsoring Selena, she kind of builds up a relationship with the prince but also with the prince's first guard and his name's Kale and what I loved about this series is the balance between these two characters and the way Sarah J Mass makes you want to choose between who out of these two boys are going to be the love of her life. And I'm just going to put it out there. Everyone loves Dorian. I love Dorian. But Kale to me, Kale has a special point in my heart, which is funny because obviously Tower of Dawn is about Kale and I am very excited about that. So this is really a great story and a really great series to start if you are definitely fans of young adult fantasy. It has magic, it has action, it has twists and turns and what's really interesting is the author is always a step ahead. The main character is always a step ahead and you find out things that the way she's acting and what she's doing are all for reasons and you've just got to keep reading to find out. I'm buzzing to hear what you guys think about this series because I know there's a lot of mixed reaction and I really would like to know in the comments down below if you enjoyed this, if you didn't enjoy this and why and if you guys are going to be taking part in the read long. I know that I really want to take part in this read long because I've never read The Assassin's Blade which is the first collection of short stories in the series. I've never read them so I, in my mind I want to read those then go back into Reading Throne of Glass and read the whole series again but I just really like Selena and her character development but my favourite character in this first book is between Kale and Nahima and those two characters are the most mysterious to me, the most offering of the backstory and I absolutely loved their sections. The parts in the story were my utter favourite and I would love to know in the comments down below what character you guys really connect with or what character you like so please please do let me know. Let me know in the comments. Now in this story during the games and during the tasks assassins start dying randomly and mysteriously and it throws Selena into the middle of this mix of trying to find out what is going on before she is also threatened. Because obviously she wants to look out for her own back and if people are dying around her, she wants to find out why so she can protect herself. And this is where the reinvention of magic comes back into the story and it is an absolute whirlwind of emotion and action. That doesn't tickle you pickle, I don't know what it, what will. So all in all, I believe Throne of Glass is definitely one of my favourites out of the series. This one I really enjoyed, Queen of Shadows I really enjoyed and I also enjoyed 
through book two, Crown of Midnight. So definitely check out the books and the series, although I'm sure a lot of you have read them, and see what you think of them. Now, I know a lot of you are staying to the end to find out how to enter to win the set of the Throne of Glass books, and this is how you can do it. Down below in the bio section, there is a tweet which all you have to do is copy and paste. It is basically you sharing this video on social medias with the hashtag Ben of Glass. So, are you going to do it? Are you going to enter to win these UK editions? <laughs> Kindly supplied by Bloomsbury. I think you should. I think you should. I cannot wait to hear your guys' comments about this series down below. And don't forget to check out the other booktubers who are also going to be reviewing the rest of this series as part of this read-along with Bloomsbury. So definitely check that out. Don't forget to enter the giveaway and comment down below and let me know if you've read this series and what you think of it. If you enjoyed this video and like me to start doing more reviews, then definitely give this a thumbs up so I know. And apart from that, I'll see you again for another video very, very soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye!